Uh, hello, my name is Natasha. I'm an engineer on Azure App Service, and today I'd like to show you um, App Service Migration Assistant. So Azure App Service is a fully managed platform that allows you to deploy your code and run your application at scale without having to worry about infrastructure problems. There are a few ways you can migrate your applications over to the platform. One is uh, if you already have a uh, deploy uh, your code ready, uh, you can have, you can use a CI CD pipeline to deploy your code. Uh, you can also deploy your containers, Linux or Windows, over to the platform. Uh, finally, you can even use our App Service Migration Assistant to lift and shift your applications. That's the one I'm going to be talking about today. So the way to access it, it's on HTTPS appmigration.microsoft.com. I'm going to quickly take us over to that site. Uh, when you come here, we have an assessment piece on this application where if you have an internet-facing application, you can quickly assess uh, what technologies, what frameworks it's using, and more importantly, if this application can be lifted and shifted uh, on Azure App Services. So let me enter a domain, target.com. And within seconds, you will see us returning all the supported, um, actually we detected all the domains for this application and then we are returning information about the framework this application runs on, the hosting platform, uh, the web server details, and you can have uh, more details as well if you want to. Um, and super importantly, we have actually analyzed this application uh, against our top about 45,000 uh, applications is our sample set to determine if applications like this are already hosted on app services and if they will run well. So you notice here uh, we have determined that target.com can fully work on Azure App Services. So now you can actually start the migrating process by clicking this button here. You would install that particular app service migration assistant on your server. Um, this is your IIS server, so the server where your application might be hosted on. We do run as administrator. Um, so for example, when you run this application, you will see uh, we are running as administrator, and we are quickly scanning your IIS server to determine which sites might be running on your platform. So look at the local host site. I already have provisioned for this demo. It is an ASP.NET site that is working with SQL database. So coming here, this is the site that App Service Migration Tool has figured out, exists on the platform, on the local uh, VM. By default, we are collecting telemetry from this tool, but customers can choose to skip it if they don't want to send us the telemetry, though please don't. Um, if you do select a site, um, we run an on-prem readiness check on the site's content and configuration. So these are a few rules that we run against your local content and configuration to make sure we have not found scenarios which will prevent us from simply lifting and shifting this application. So for example, if you're using a non-HTTP protocol um, or you are using any non-ASP.NET stacks, because at this time ASP.NET is the only framework we are supporting, we would likely block your migration because we want to make sure apps that do pass a readiness checks, we are able to migrate successfully. Um, at this point, since this works just fine, uh, if we had blocked the migration, customers do have an option to save the report, uh, retry um, if there are some fixes that they can make to allow for the site to be migrated, and um, be able to find a partner so that these are the curated set of app service partners that can help you possibly refactor your application if it is not something that can be lifted and shifted or fixed for lift and shift easily. So here I'm going to go next. This is the time where we are asking you to authenticate yourself to ARM. So note that before then, there was no authentication. We were just running as a local administrator. I'm authenticating myself here. And this tool has detected, wait for it. It has detected that I have authenticated. Um, it's figured out all the subscriptions that are running on my account. And I'm going to create a new resource group. 
and a new site. Uh, we'll pick a region for you, but the customers can choose to uh, select another region if they want to deploy their application. Uh, so note that we detected there is a database um, with your application content. There are two options at this point. Uh, we have a learn more document uh, link to explain. One option is customers can use the Azure database migration service. So skip the database setup from us and instead bring their data separately uh, using Azure DMS. Or this is a uh, boss Customers can use Azure App Service hybrid connection capability to keep their data on-prem, uh, deploy their application content to App Services, and have the application talk to the local database using Azure App Service hybrid connection feature. So note that we've detected the host name, uh, the server name already, and the port for us to establish the hybrid connection with. Now we're actually setting up the resources on Azure App Service end. So first we make sure the information entered on the form before is valid. So you have picked a resource group that's valid, a plan that can actually support creation of more resources. Uh, then we are creating the site resources. Uh, because we chose to set up a hybrid connection, there are a bunch of resources that we are creating to set up hybrid connections successfully. Uh, and after that, we are going to serialize the content on your machine for default website and set up a zip deploy for your content. So hybrid connection setup is the longest uh, step in this entire process. But by longest, really, it's still a few minutes. Of course, the size of your site will determine how long it will take for us to serialize, zip it, and publish it but you can see all of this gets done super quickly. So we do make sure that you have uh, hybrid connection manager set up on your machine. We have now added, after, when this step is done, a connection string on your local hybrid connection manager so it can talk to the app service we just created. And voila, we're done. So now if you go to your website, this is the part where this application is hosted on Azure App Service. It's an ASP.NET, so you're seeing a cold start. And it should be using hybrid connection to talk to the database that we left behind. And look at that. It works just fine. OK, so um, just to summarize, what you saw as showcase was an app service migration assistant, uh, which helps you assess your application. Uh, we have an online assessment tool that helps you assess your internet-facing applications to determine if they would be good lift and shift candidates and will work on Azure App Service. When you download our migration assistant, we rescan your application on your local IIS server to make sure that it is a good lift and shift candidate and it doesn't have configuration or content that would prevent us from moving it to the cloud as is. And finally, when we have the application created, you have the entire power of all the past features available to you so you can manage your application on the portal and use more and more features of PaaS. Um, that's it from me. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. And have a good Microsoft Build 2019.